longevity lifestyle designers this is Gavin here with secrets of longevity.com the title of this video is very overarching and it's based on something that I've been looking into even mostly just today it's very fascinating it's the ACES study it's a very large uh, all-encompassing study into the effects of childhood trauma onto people's entire lives and what it's found is that if you have the maximal number of traumas that they were looking at, so it was a range of scale, there's people with absolutely no trauma or no major trauma, and then these very large things from physical abuse to emotional abuse, etc., etc. At the other end, where it's the most intense, those people have 20 years less average lifespan as compared to the people uh, with no abuse in their uh, history as a child. So it's de definitely through the developmental years that uh, these problems create a massive lasting impact that affects you through your whole life. And while there's not any conclusive uh, findings on exactly what is causing the lower uh, lifespan, we can just guess that it's going to increase the likelihood of risky behaviors, uh, it's going to increase the potential for substance abuse, and that's obviously going to detract from your lifespan. But even more interestingly still is there's a large increase in things like diabetes, cancer, heart disease, and all these chronic illnesses which we don't usually associate with a trauma in our past. Most people think of those in terms of uh, just happening to them or those of us that are a little more knowledgeable about health. We think about uh, things like diet largely but also exercise. But it's either the trauma itself is having a really strong impact as an, an emotional uh, issue that's buried deep within your subconscious and just eliciting a uh, stress response over your lifetime that's detracting from your vitality so to speak but it could also simply be that these past childhood traumas are affecting your choices of habits which would then you know cause you to have a worse diet worse uh, health regimens in place that would normally allow someone to live a longer uh, fully healthful life so that extra step I'm going in the title saying that anyone can increase their lifespan or prevent the risk of up to 20 years being taken off your lifespan is you might already be an adult, you most likely are if you're watching this video uh, and you can start the process of undoing any traumas you may have had as a child through all sorts of different types of therapies, talk therapy uh, generally it can also be very helpful to start with uh, even though it can be pricey the very intense uh, and all-encompassing psychotherapy which really goes in there. I don't recommend drug routes of course for dealing with issues. It's actually about getting to the bottom of these tra childhood traumas and when those start to get cleared up it's going to impact your life in absolutely incredible ways that you might not have conceived of. There's also plenty of alternative or holistic therapies and methods that have shown quite well that they can resolve a lot of these issues on the subconscious level that has to do with our psyche and our past traumas and even things that most people don't think of as trauma are huge it's very conclusive now that spanking which is still practiced by something over 60 percent of uh, households in North America have spanked their kids in the last year or something uh, there's a lot of statistics on this I definitely recommend checking Freedom in Radio out uh, Stefan Molyneux's channel uh, I'll put a link below uh, and I'll stick an annotation right here to one of his videos about that topic a recent one which is how I came across this ACEs study and it really reveals the damaging effects of things like uh, lowered IQ in children who are spanked. It doesn't mean everyone who's spanked has a lower IQ, it means spanking a kid has the potential of uh, bringing out and activating latent genes, epidemiologically speaking, uh, that could increase uh, risky behavior, increase antisocial behavior, increase cr criminality and things like that. So there's in the prison population there's a much higher percentage of prisoners who've been spanked as a kid as opposed to the general population. One of the factors is lowered IQ and you can't look at yourself now and say well I turned out fine when you don't know what, your pot what potential of yours might have been hindered because of that or other people that think they're okay, not necessarily you, but they were hindered but they don't realize it and what it comes down to is hitting is violence and cycles of violence get embedded into us in our psyche on this mental emotional level 
and this profoundly impacts our entire being for the rest of our life. It's such a critical point in our lives when we're ch children in terms of development and uh, brain malleability in terms of habits, patterns, and emotional stability that traumas, even as minor as it might seem as spanking, has huge consequences down the road. It can drastically change life paths, it drastically changes um, what one's willing to do to your own children, that's how it gets passed on. And uh, it's also interesting to note the differences in how different subcultures deal with their kids and the impact that has down the road for future generations when you compare. Uh, I'm not going to get into specifics, but you can always find this out from watching some of the stuff I'm linking to below this video. And then it also explains higher prevalence of diseases within certain subcultures and uh, also the tendency for shorter lifespan. And more and more it just seems clear that this is huge. Cycles of violence impact every area of society. The most messed up people that are creating the most messed up things in our society had messed up childhoods. I'm not just talking about spanking, I mean emotional trauma and bad attachment through the developing years, especially zero to three. There needs to be a lot more statistical analysis of this to really convince the uh, skeptics or the people that aren't so much skeptical because I think a lot of people that are looking at this are the skeptics, and scientifically speaking, but the people in society that don't want to let go of these old, archaic um, abuses that get passed down almost as tradition, largely through religious upbringing and the fundamentalism that can come about from that. Uh, so those are the people in society that need to shift this the most. But of course, lower income uh, family households where there's higher risk of substance abuse and physical and emotional abuse. They're needing the information as well. So let me know if you've heard about this in the comments below. Uh, there's tons of information out there on this new large collaborative study that's been done through the CDC and an institute uh, in San Diego. And let me know your thoughts in the comments below as well, in general. So like, favor, and share the video if you feel so inclined. It helps a great deal. And with that, I'll talk to you next time. Take care and embrace life without limits.